Hey everybody, welcome back. Yes, it is time for some more Exanima. And as usual, we will follow our routine of practicing and warming up first in the old school arena. It won't make us any better. I'm still going to suck at the end of the day, so I'm sorry if you're putting lots of faith in this. But alas, your faith is misplaced, and I always forget to put the damn name in. All right. Okay, so what are we going to fight with today? Um, let's go with... I'm going to go with the axe. We did the bill hook yesterday, and it was, it was pretty good. But I think I need to work a little bit more on this, so that's what we're going to do. All right. Start things off with a terrible overhead. There we go. Not a bad start, all things considered. Damn it. As you can see, I'm working on countering with the overhead. See, when it works, it's beautiful. But it's a little di- oh shit, it's a little difficult. Come on now, come on. Let's try it here. There it is. Yes. Alright, so we'll go ahead and put on this dude's clothes as usual. Because that's really all I'm after here is clothing. I just prefer killing people for their clothes rather than going shopping. There we go. Oh no. Oh, that's not good. That's really not good. What is happening? Besides me totally misunderstanding the range of the mace, the morning star, I mean. There we go. Okay, I lost over half my health. That was pathetic. That is not good. All right, hopefully we'll do a little better in the next fight, but there are no promises, of course. Really need to work on my aim with this overhead. Oh, that'll work. One more time. There we go. There we go. Alright, waistcoat, arming cap, chain vest. Very nice. Uh, we'll s eh, let's stick with the axe. Always, I'm always tempted to pick up that damn maul, but... Not this time. That was horrible. I'm gonna try and go under that shield and get to her legs. Or not. Let me get the hell out of the corner. Ooh, shit. Nope, that was not good. There we go. All right, all right. Um, yeah, that is better than the waistcoat, isn't it? Okay, that's fine. These boots are actually, I mean, they look ridiculous, but, uh... I'm going to wear them anyway, because I have no dignity left. No dignity to lose. Alright. Oh! Good God! Yes. Yes, indeed. Right, throw that stuff on real quick. Alright, let's try the old... Well... There we go, trying the old left to right. I think I finally figured it out. It only took me like a year to figure it out. But just a second ago, I noticed something. That when I move the mouse over here, I have to wait for my arms. Oh, crap. I have to wait for my arms to move to the left. Otherwise, he will not... When I attack, he'll still do right to left, unless my arms have... Unless I've shifted it. So, see how he switches it right there? Oh, that was totally... That was an accident, but I love it. Ooh! Yeah, so... 
Okay, let me... I just need to get the damn camera right behind me. So normally we're over here. If I s see the... My body is turning. I thought I had it... Well, see? I do kind of have it figured out. Oh, well. All right. Spalders, van braces, greaves, shoes. Uh, whoops, wrong mouse button. Go ahead and put that chain vest on, and... I think that will be good for now. All right. Oh. That was quick. He doesn't normally start off that quickly, does he? Shit, that was close. I knew I didn't get out of the way in time. Damn it. Oh my god. Spending too much time trying to readjust the camera. And I end up getting hit. Thought I was dead right there for sure. Oh, where's my... Oh, come on. That was pathetic. Alright, we're gonna do it again. Alright, and... Even though I shouldn't, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick with the axe because... I clearly need to work... on this weapon. Ah, oh, my overheads are horrible today. Well, spoke too soon, I guess. Oh, how is he still alive? There we go. Oh, yeah. There we go. All right, that's feeling a little more confident now with the axe. I was going to try to go for the legs, but that didn't work. There it is. Alright, that feels very good. Oh my god, yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about right there. Oh shit! Let's keep it going. Let's just keep it going. Crap. really put some power into that swing. I think that should have been ultra damaging. I know this is never going to happen, but I would so love to see dismemberment in this game. Ooh. Like, I, I, I realize it's, it's probably a real pain in the ass to put that into the game, and it's not going to happen. But just think for a second. Imagine the glory of, you know, going under a shield attack and hacking off the bottom of someone's leg. Or getting inside their attack there and hacking off one of their hands. And, of course, cutting their head in half. All glorious things. And if that were someday to become a reality, oh my god. Oh my god. I can't even put into words how joyous of a day that would be. Oh my god, yes. Yes. Ah, oh, god damn it. This guy, I swear to god. I never have trouble with this dude until today for some reason. Oh, 
There we go. That's how that should have gone the first time. Alright, so now we can go to the expert arena. And see what we pull off there. Um, let's see. Alright, practice. Expert. Uh, this is all fine. Now, the question is, do I want to... Do I want to stick with the axe? And I'm not... I really don't want to. I, I just, I really don't want to. Let's try a pole arm today for the expert arena because I have not yet done that. Okay, let's see. Let me try to get... As usual, I'm having a little bit of an issue here with my... Uh, I say it's another monitor, but it's a tablet. I'm, I'm too, I'm too much of an amateur and too poor to get that figured out. Uh, right, I think... Okay, I think I got it figured out there. All right. Yeah, okay. So, on to the pull arm now. Let's try to open things off with a wonderful overhead. Oh, Jesus Christ, are you serious? Well, this one was over before it even began, really. Looks like, looks like the pull arm was a really stupid idea, but I can thrust with it. I need to remember that. Ooh! Delicious. And we're dead. <laughs> uh, hey, Adrila. Yeah, the starting pole arm is one of my heart. Yeah, I, obviously, it's. I'm doing terrible with the pole arm right off the bat, but let's see if we can change that. Hey, Thorn. Oh, there, that's what we're talking about. Oh, shit. Alright, don't judge me by how I play with this pole arm. I'm not, I mean, I'm bad, but I'm not usually this bad. Alright, we can at least get some better armor going on here. Now I'm gonna, oh, I think I forgot to put on the starting chain shirt. And if I did, that means that I, this one will actually be better right now. That was my mistake. Alright. Yeah, those, those face shots, that's what it's all about. I really need to work on thrusts in general, and I think this would be a good weapon to practice with. Just because the range is ridiculous. But, I... F hmm. Not right now. Not The damn shield is throwing me off. I want to try and get under that shield and cut her legs to pieces. Oh, crap. Oh, my God. I hate this pole arms. I hate it. Alright, there we go. Oh man, we're barely going to have any health going forward. Okay, we definitely don't want the thigh-high boots because I, I swear to God I will never put those on. Mark my words. And if there ever comes a day when I do wear the thigh-high boots, I want someone to reach through the screen and slap the shit out of me. Uh, do we want the leather vest? We do. Okay. Luckily, all the armor I choose, like the ones that I really like, they're all, it says in the description that it's meant for women. Oh, oh, that was not cool. Okay, up against the wall or in the corner, not good places to be right now. You know, I really want to take that Bardiche from this dude. Oh, that was dumb. Oh, that was dumb. Okay. The pole arm is its making me too depressed, so we're going to have to go with something else. Let me put that starting... T oh, I forgot the damn Gambeson also. I am out of it today. Okay, so let's go with... And eh, let's go with Old Faithful. Let's go with Old Faithful. That's not, that's not going to hurt anybody. Uh, let's see. 
Let's see. One-handed sword is the best to train thrusts. Uh, well, crap, Adderla, I already chose the two-handed one. But that's good to know. Alright, let's try those leg cuts again. See if I can get under that shield. There, there's one. Oh, man, I didn't think she was going to be able to reach me with that thrust. Okay. Again, I'm practicing going under the shield. That's why I'm making these obnoxious swings here. Damn. Alright, screw it. I was doing so well, like, ten minutes ago. Alright, we already put that stuff on. Okay, I thought the Bardiche would not be very effective if I stayed real close to him, but he still managed to hit me with it. It didn't do all that much damage, though. And I want to go for his cloth leggings, because he's got much better armor on his upper body. Getting too close. Let's try an overhead for the hell of it. There we go. <laughs> Alright. Okay, it is Lamellar time, folks. Okay, let's switch all that out. Um, the shoes aren't going to make any difference whatsoever. And we've already got a decent chain shirt or chain vest on, so to hell with that. Now, I really kind You know what? I want to pick up the Bardiche. I'm going to make that my secondary. Because I haven't used this one in a while, and I remember loving it. So we're actually going to open up the next fight with it, see what happens. Did I get his ankle? I'll take it. Let's try and, uh, let's try and stab him with it. Oh, he had the same idea. Yes! There we go. Now that sword is very fast. I'm going to replace my other two-handed sword with this one. But we're going to go back to the Bardiche. Never fear. Oh my god, that was stupid. The thing about the Bardiche that I, re that I really like is that I can... At least more easily, I can get around people's shields. Uh, we actually went over it that time, but in general, it kind of makes that easier. Alright, coif time. Helmet. Um, belt, because, you know, why not? Not going to put on the chain shirt or the boots or any of that stuff. Alright, here's where things get really yeah. dangerous. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, sometimes you just gotta work with the camera angle that you have. Sometimes there's just really not time to change it. And I'm trying to get better about that. Being able to fight no matter where the camera is. Damn it! That was that should have been the end of me. Ooh, sh shit! All right. So now it's time to plate up. Now this will give us a much better chance. Um, I probably should not stick with the Bardiche, but I'm gonna do that because when have I ever made smart decisions? That's right, never. So why start now? Ooh. Ah, oh, crap. That was bad. Okay, you know what? We can do this. Yes! Hell yeah, alright. Let's replace all of this again. 
Uh, yeah, pretty much everything except for the velvet trousers. Don't need that. Hey, Poco, what's up? Uh, oh, don't worry, it's it's all right. There will be plenty more streams to come, Poco. No worries. Oh man. There we go. Yeah, I'm gonna be streaming a lot more often. I'm actually gonna finally make an attempt to establish a foothold here. Of course, when I say foothold, I'm talking about relative to to me. So that means like. I could get like 10 people to watch, that would be extraordinary and I would feel accomplished. Oh, I hate this Daedra piece of shit. Damn, come on now. That was stupid. Oh man, come on! There we go! Excellent, alright. Uh, yeah, Adderla, the, the Bardish actually was not too bad against them. Oh, hell yes, Poco. Mordhau, is it not just the most awesome shit ever? Uh, yeah. And don't worry, I, I heard about it, like, when I think when it was kind of first announced, and then I forgot about it for a very long time, and I someone put out, like, a, a first look video or something, and I was like, holy shit, I forgot about that game. And now I'm so excited, just thinking about Mordhau is making me... Well, it's, it, I'm all a Twitter, okay? Uh, so I absolutely cannot wait for that. I really wish... No, Adderlight doesn't come out till first quarter of next year. There's a, a closed beta, I think, going on, but I think you had to be a Kickstarter backer, and I missed that whole thing. Hey, Nexus, what's up? Yeah, we just had a, we just had a pretty good time with the Bardiche. Um... Okay, instead of jumping right back into the story mode, uh, you well, let's yeah, let's get back to it actually, because we do have quite a long ways to go here. All right, we've almost got maneuvering and armor leveled up. That would be quite nice. <laughs> yeah, Adderla, I gotta upgrade my computer too. In fact, I'm I'm kind of planning on. I just bought the new webcam. Uh, next, I'm kind of. Honestly, I'm probably going to have to replace... Shit. Probably going to have to replace the motherboard, the chip, and the RAM. Uh, so, but... Yeah, eventually... We'll be ready for Mordhau. And hopefully I'll be able to, be able to stream in, in 1080. Oh, Poco, you got a new one recently. What'd you get? Okay, so we had just walked into this room and we finished last night, okay. Let's see, there's a lot of literature in here. The Guardian's Wrath. The earth on which we walk is our mother. She provides for us all that we may need. Our ancestors, in their mad lust for power, sought more. They began to dig deep into our earth in search of her lifeblood. And so, by digging, they uncovered the underworld and its fearsome guardian. He sent forth terrible demons to drive them out and hunt them down. Before all could be slain, our ancient kin sealed the entrances to the underworld and swore never to return. Thus are we allowed to live upon this earth, but ever under the watchful eye of the Guardian. Okay, for some reason I... I failed to pay attention to this damn book the first 17 billion times I read it. Uh... Oh yeah, Poco, I'm all about... Uh, obviously I'm all about desktop. PCs. Uh, I don't even, I mean, I have a laptop, but it's from like a thousand years ago, and it's totally worthless. Um, I'm glad, though. I'm really glad to hear that you got yourself a new PC, a beast PC, as you say. Uh, that is awesome. And like I said, I'm, I'm going to have to be upgrading a bunch of my stuff soon, which kind of sucks, but at the same time, it's exciting. Oh, God, that's a lot of reading. All right, I can do this. 
Okay, The Guardian of the Underworld. This book explores various myths surrounding the Guardian, but does so in what seems like a tendentious manner, casting him in a more positive light than he is commonly viewed in. You suspect it is tied to some cult dedicated to the worship of the Guardian. What a bunch of bitches, making him sound good? Okay, the Guardian of the Underworld, known also as the Keeper of the Dead, is the most prominent figure in our mythology. As with most our myths, as with most of our myths, it differs depending on whom you ask. The Guardian's role in particular is an ambivalent one. There is fear of what he represents and of his dark and dangerous realm, but there is also a feeling of deference and a belief that he will watch over our loved ones once they pass away. We inter our dead to consign them to the Guardian's care, and we believe that he will grant them a life beyond this one. Behind this intimidating titles and malicious curses, the Guardian is also a giver of life. He is said to restore life to those that have fallen in his service, or that some become beholden to him owing to their resurrection. Perhaps the most notable myth is that in a time of dire need, the Guardian will raise an army of those given into his care to defend us. What is it then that he guards? Does he simply watch over our dead and his dreadful realm? Or might it be that he is, in fact, our protector? There we go. Uh, oh, thanks, Nexus. Yeah, I'm... I'm I try. I try. Try to be, you know, a, a little bit theatrical at times. If I can. Alright, there's a new key. Put that right there. Oh, God, more reading. Okay. I've been avoiding relations with my subjects as it could become a serious impediment to my work. I did not imagine that I would miss human contact so much. Papin or something. Papin could have carried my legacy, but I now treasure his company and friendship more than anything. Even so, I deeply regret the loss of a lifetime of imparted knowledge and teachings. If I were to succeed, poor Papin would never truly have reaped the benefits of his apprenticeship. But he accepted this and was always eager and grateful. It's too late now. I must not dwell on it any longer. Again, I'm glad that they took the time to, to draw the, to write the hyphens as they were as they were doing their kind of stream of consciousness thing. Uh, go ahead and download it, Poco. You know you you know you want to. You know you want to re-download it and get that Xanima going on. Oh God, more reading. Okay. I discovered a truly miraculous substance. It produces a faint light and a pungent odor. When I touched it, a wound on my hand I acquired during my cutting sealed rapidly. It was astounding. I have experimented with it, but so far it has proven ineffective against my illness. If only I could find more. It was well hidden. Obviously, it's something of great value. I thought perhaps the lamps contained the substance, but I was unable to break one open. When I finally removed one from the wall, it gradually lost its light. I think he's talking about the the healing salve, the, the, the blue one. Uh, yeah, Adderlo, that's what I was just thinking too. Like all these, the things that we're killing eventually are guardians, um, and they're supposed to keep things from the underworld coming back up. But I'm killing them, going down towards the underworld. But yeah, so long story, very long story short, a long time ago, these people or their ancestors were like digging down for some reason, and they accidentally broke into the underworld. Uh, where they were confronted with some really horrible shit. And you know how that old that old yarn goes. Okay, let me mark this door. Uh, goodbye, Sledgehammer. Okay, that just to try to keep myself on track. Okay. Um, is there anything up here? No. Oh, there's no other place to go in here, is there? Oh, well. So I can pick up my sledgehammer in a minute. Ah, uh, we have a nice selection of clothing. None of which will prove useful right now. Uh, what is that? It's just a jug. I wonder how that thing sounds when it falls. Let's find out. Ah, that's weak. The real stuff, this is where it's at right here. Oh, God. I love that sound. I will not apologize for loving that sound, and I'm always going to take those things and drop them if I have the chance. Yeah, I'm a bit of an audiophile, I suppose. Okay, so we're going to pick that up. I mean, I could mark this door. It's not absolutely necessary. Can I move that? No. Let me pick up something. I should be able to pick those up, right? Yeah, okay. Alright. What, then, may be the motives for the character to delve deeper? I'm assuming we're delving deeper because, well, I mean, I don't even know why we're here to begin with, so it's kind of hard to answer that. 
I'm assuming we're delving deeper just because it's it's kind of shocking, I guess, that we're running into all these walking corpses and stuff, and it kind of feels necessary to kill them. But other than that, I really don't know. <laughs> that face, Thorn. What's that all about? Okay. Uh, I'm going to try and make it obvious that I've gone through this door, so let's put that right there. Uh, <clears throat> I think he can't get up the way he came, so he runs around aimlessly, at least of... That, yeah. I guess that, yeah, I guess that makes sense, Adderla. That w however we got in here, we can't get back out that way. Uh, the knight goes down to explore where his farmers went. Oh, that does depend on which character you choose, doesn't it? Audiophilia. <laughs> okay, oh, crap. Come and get it. Alright, we're working on our thrusts again today, but I think that... This one has a... Oh, I thought it was a two-handed sword. It's just a metal bar. Alright, I'm going to feint to draw them in. Get the aggro going, just like that. Okay. Oh, man, I was just about to say that... That wall helped me a lot, and then it stopped me as well. Oh, my God, that was a beautiful thrust. Beautiful thrust, my... Oh, damn it. Okay, let's, uh, let's back it up a bit. There we go. Oh man, pretty soon we're going to have to drink that health salve. It's getting close now. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we're the yeah, we're the proctor right now and we, I I guess uh we were sent by somebody to investigate what's going on down here, either the clergy or the king like Adderlo was saying. But yeah, I guess we 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 got in here we got trapped, and so we have no choice but to kind of uh, work our way downwards. Okay, I don't want to... I still need to go down that hallway at some point. Let me take that metal... Well, actually, I mean, this body pretty much... That will suit my purposes just fine. I'm going to leave you right there in the doorway. Okay, let's go over here. Doesn't seem to be anything there. Um, I really need to pick up some extra junk to start leaving in doorways, but there we go. That'll work just fine for now. Okay, so this was out in the hallway that I didn't go down. And where does this go? Let's check this room real quick. I don't think we've been in here. Let me see how close I am to getting... Eh, we're just a little over halfway there. Oh, those are superior chain gauntlets. Let's see what I'm wearing. Oh, that's already what I have. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think the proctor is on the third, f the third floor, and I'm still on the second. And that proctor is a real pain in the ass sometimes. Oh shit! Where did you come from? And how the hell did you know I was in here? And why are you attacking me with a bedpan? Oh, this is bad. This damn chair is totally throwing me off. Oh, that was beautiful. There we go. There we go. That's our moment. Wow. Okay. Holy crap. I couldn't get my camera fixed. The chair was driving me nuts, but somehow we. <laughs> yeah, the dreaded bedpan. The bedpan plus two versus shapeshifters. Um, leather cap. We've got an exceptional arming cap. We do not need that. All right. So, okay, we checked that. I had already walked my way over here. You know, I've never used the bedpan myself as a weapon. I'm very tempted to pick that up, guys. I'm very tempted. <laughs> but now let's just leave it. Okay, nothing of use here, but I kind of want to see all this stuff. Ah, I was hoping they would stay on this tray so I could make it all fall, but whatever. Okay. You know what? I don't care. I'm picking up that bedpan. I might need it at some point. What do I have for my secondary? The sword? You know what? The bedpan will now become my secondary. 
and I make no apologies for that. Okay. All right, so that was the hallway, so we have to go... Wait a minute, is this another door right here? It is. I need to check this room. There's another jewelry box. So we can take it. Um, nothing on these shelves, unfortunately. Yeah, same story here. Damn it! Okay. So be it. Alright, so now we can go back into this room. Oh, hello. This one is pissed. There we go. Uh, those are some fairly decent clothes he had on. Uh, I guess before going right, let's go up this way. Northeast corner of them should be extra level 3. South, southeast is to explore. Alright, sweet. Okay. Whoops, I would need to drop one of those there. Where did it go? Oh, it's still there, okay. Thought it disappeared for a second. I'm just going to stay zoomed out for the moment in case a zombie starts running up out here. I want to be able to see it ahead of time. Uh, don't see loot containers here. Oh, wait, there's one. Hey, another pouch. And that's all just debris. Uh, yeah, that, that was a crutch, Thorn. And you, you gotta watch out for that crutch sometimes, too, because the range on it is pretty ridiculous. Uh, some of them will also come at you with a prosthetic leg. Uh, and then, of course, my favorite is the bedpan. Alright, a nice selection of pastel-colored, you know, springtime shirts that I would never wear in a million lifetimes. Alright, please be something good in here. <laughs> the highest of peasants. So that you mean the peasants that are on the most drugs, so they pick up a crutch to fight you, instead of a, a, a actual weapon? <laughs> Alright, nothing there. Let's see what you've got for me. Loot box. Oh, it's just the same old stuff. Yeah, alright. Okay, I'm um, just briefly glancing around. Alright, is this back into that? Okay, now I'm starting to get confused. Okay, well, I... Shit, okay. Let's... Uh, I'm going to drop another jewelry box right there. And let's see... Is that a... No, that's just a bench, right? No, no, it is a loot box. There's two of them. Sweet. All right, we're wearing greaves, so the boots are not going to happen. <laughs> More thigh-high boots, not in a million years. The heavy coat has nothing on my thick leather vest. Okay, what... I'm going to get lost here pretty soon. Can I pick up... Yeah. Okay, these rooms are connected in some way. Let me walk over there. There we go. Oh, man, there's so many damn doors. Okay. <laughs> Alas, it gave him the power of the crutch. That was the final mistake that medical staff ever made. Okay, uh, don't see anything there. Let's go this way. So many rooms! I don't even... Good God, I don't even remember the second floor being this expansive. Alright. Um... 
there anything over here? No. Okay. I guess we'll go... There's a zombie over there. Come here. Oh, you're not hostile? Guess what? I do not care. Let's try and get close enough. There we go. There we go. Alright. Um, this is... Nope. Nope. Don't need any of that stuff. Okay, so... Where was I trying to go a second ago? See, whenever the damn zombies show up like that, I always lose my bearings. And you know it doesn't take much for me to lose my bearings. I have the attention span of like a three-year-old kid. Uh, I guess we'll put a pouch down there. Okay, where does the... What is this? Uh, nope, that's not going to compare to the the vest that I have on, or the jacket, or whatever the hell it is. Ooh! Is that a Warhammer? Yes, it is. Uh, that might be better than a bedpan for my secondary, but I think I can dual wield, right? So, a bedpan and a Warhammer translates to, do not fuck with me. Alright. Alright, I'm going to do this just to tell myself that I've already been down this way. I'm going to place the chair... Like, well, let's like actually stand it up. Just like that. Alright. Okay, I don't think this is anything but a basin. Or, you know, washing. Let's try and... Oh, I was trying to put that on my head, but then it occurred to me, what if I put it over the torch? That would be kind of funny. Let's try that. Eh, okay. I know it's only entertaining to me. Uh, no, unfortunately we can't use the bed to regen. Uh, we'll regen health up until we get to that red bar, and then it will not regen anymore unless I use this health salve right here. And I don't want to use it just yet. But the health salve will remove that red bar, or at least some of it. Also, if we die, um, if we only lose the yellow health and it doesn't fill all the way up with red, we'll only get knocked unconscious and we'll wake up like after a couple of minutes. Otherwise we'll die and that's the end of it. Okay, I don't... Have I already been in this room? This is why I should mark doorways, because I don't know. I may have. Let's see. Okay, that's a bathroom. There's nothing in there. I don't think I'd gone this way yet. That door is getting in the way. That's just another washroom. Damn. Wait, there's something. Okay, nope. Nope. No. We're still doing really well on the armor that we have on currently, so most of this stuff is going to be useless to us at this point. But we do get XP, remember, skill XP for checking containers, so that's why I still check everything, even though it's usually going to be pretty useless. Uh, da, da, da. Yeah, the yellow health uh, regens passively. So if you're getting your ass kicked really bad, you can just kind of run and uh, hide somewhere. Okay, yeah, I had been in here because I marked... Okay, I remember marking that door and then going through there. But there was another place over here that I did not check yet. Okay, which way? Did I went up that way. This led into this room. What is in here? Eh, it's a bathroom. Uh, there's two more bedpans. I could dual wield bedpans. Which I kind of want to do. So we're going to set our secondary up with two bedpans. Just be shit flying everywhere. Highly effective weapon. Okay, I don't... I, don't know if, I think we've been in here as well. Yeah, I think that was where I made the comment about the pastel color shirts. Ooh, that heavy padded coat. What does this replace? 
That replaces that weak velvet tunic. I didn't even know I had a velvet tunic on. I'm glad we got rid of it. Okay, there's a prosthetic leg right there. And you can use that as a weapon, but I will not. I think I did go in here. Yeah, but I just missed the the chest with the padded coat. All right. Okay, and that leads back in there. All right, let's make our return trip a little less ridiculous by whoops, by marking this doorway here. All right, I think I went back this way last time. I need to bring a chair with me. Oh, we're too far away. All right, so that chair in the doorway, that's good. All right, we went through here just a second ago. There's a bathroom. It's that way, so I guess I need to go back. <laughs> You would think so, Thorn. You would think that was a joke, but no, yeah, you really can attack people with a prosthetic leg. Okay. Alright, it's just that room. Okay, so I need to generally head in a northeasterly direction to get to the, the next floor, I th think. So this should be the way to go now. Okay, what... Where does this lead? Should we do a wheel? Yeah, let's do a wheel to bedpans for a second. Show the zombie that I am not playing around. They do so little damage. Oh shit! He's only—he's just using a piece of wood, like a table leg. There we go. Dual bedpans. Fear them. Fear them if you know what's good for you. Alright. Oh, no, not another one. Alright, we're not doing the bedpans on this one. We're going back to the old trustworthy sword. Okay, I'm, once again, I'm going to faint. That will draw them in. There we go, and let's finish it. Oh, that's not, that's not good. There we go. Ooh, that was like a cut right across the back of the neck. Delicious. Oh, right. Don't need any. Ooh, those are some nice cloth leggings, actually. Let's see how they compare. Oh, those are actually. Wow. It's better than the heavy quilted trousers. They actually weigh more than the so called heavy quilted trousers, but whatever. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. You damn zombies, I swear to God. Always running up on me at the most unexpected time. Yes! Alright. Okay. Uh, yeah, Nexus. But uh, honestly, I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. The game looks really good, whether or not... Even if you're, if you're running AMD graphics, the game still looks really good. Trust me, it really does. Uh, let's see. And of course it runs so smoothly and it always has, like from the beginning. I've never, never really had any problems with this game when it comes to performance, not even from day one, the very beginning of the alpha. Please don't be locked. Of course it's locked, but I do have a new key, it's this one. Did that work? That worked. Alright. Ah, yes. So now we're back at the beginning of the floor. So that... Oh, so that unlocks that door. Okay. Okay, so I need to head back clearly. And I still don't want to drink that health salve. I want to find a second one. Honestly, I want to find a second one before I drink the one I have. Okay, so, alright. Which way did I come into this room from? I already forgot. I think from that end. Wait, wait, wait. Is it locked? No. Oh, it is. Okay. 
Let's see if that same key works. It does not. Alright, we're going to try all the keys. Got a bunch of them. Realize you might not be able to see them because my ugly face is right there where my inventory is. Damn. Okay, I don't have the key to that door. Uh, look on the table behind me. Uh, I don't know about... No, I haven't personally heard any news about Sui Gineris. Um Adderla or uh, Poco or someone else may be more familiar. Or actually, they're all... Oh, there's the key. Thanks, Adderla. They're all more familiar with that stuff than I am. For some reason, I just... I never keep up with, with the news like I should. There we go. Ah, yes. Okay, I remember this place. From previous playthroughs, that is. Alright. No loot containers. That's alright. Ow. Alright, so there's a zombie right there. Is there a second one in here? I don't remember. Nice thrust, he's already running. Come back and fight. I'm gonna give chase. There we go, you are not going to run away from me. Are you dead? Yeah, you are dead. Alright, good. Uh, no thanks on the jacket. No thanks on the boots. Alright, let me... I always get thrown way up. Oh shit! I get thrown way off course, chasing after zombies. Now I, we had already been in here, before, uh, the the room with the, the archery targets, which I lovingly refer to as cinnabons. Those I remember hitting those before. So maybe I have not gone this way yet. Oh, I have. That's right. Yeah, I was in this room yesterday. That's it's all. It's all coming back to me now. Okay. So, wait. Is this where I initially came in, or is this something else? This is something... No, that is where I came in. Right. Okay, let's mark this doorway. He's coming at me with the bedpan. Oh, shit. Oh, come on now. There it is. Nice. Alright. This is just the usual crap. Alright. And, eh, uh, looks like there's nothing in there. It's the big training room. Okay. What? There's not even a bed in there. That one sucks. Nothing still. Just, just one loot box with some loot that I don't even want. That's all I'm asking for right now. Nothing in here. Wait, there's something. Oh, a belt! Yay! <laughs> it's like being younger and getting something like that on Christmas or something. Oh, yay! Socks. Cool. Of course, now that I'm much older, I, I love that shit. It's like, oh, socks, good. I don't have to spend the, the very little money I already make buying necessities like socks. Thank you very much. Genuinely appreciate that. Oh, it sucks getting old. It really does. Okay. Oh, is this really going to come to a dead end? Eh, don't need any of that. 
And of course I'm not partial to the, the color purple. Not really my thing. And... No, okay. Okay, so I do believe we've checked all of those... All of those rooms now, yeah, right? Okay, I think so. Okay. Oh, crap. I don't remember. I think I already went through here. Yeah, because there's that zombie. Okay. Okay, if I already went down that hallway, then... Is this the one? What is this? Now that would have been where I just was, right? Okay. Alright, I th think I have managed to get lost again. Yes, I have. Right. <laughs> Damn it. Okay. Try to... Okay, Adderla, in general, it's northeast, right? The, the exit from this level. So that would mean I'm going in the wrong direction right now. I think it's generally northeast, so we're basically going to go back to where I just was. I already checked that loot box. Uh, I'm back in the western half. So we need to find a way to head east. Oh, crap. Well, this is not the way. Yeah, Adderlo is really good with directions in this game, so I, 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 tend, to, I tend to ask him for help all the time. And because I'm stupid. But you didn't need me to tell you that. It's <laughs> glaringly obvious. All right. Okay, I'm, yeah, this was like where we started the episode, wasn't it? The episode, the stream, whatever it is. I'm so used to YouTube. Uh, let's see. Hasn't been any updates on Sui Ganera since 2014. I believe, however, they updated Xanima this year. Yeah, the the last major update for Exanima was in February. And from what I hear, they're working what they're working on right now and which will be coming soon as I understand it at the very least is a uh, an armor update, which sounds pretty sweet. Yeah, and as I understand it, I mean uh, they're always working on Sui Generis as well because this is kind of like this is the it's not fair to say it's the proof of concept, but it's kind of like that. All right, here's someplace new, thank God. All right, I'm going to move this ladder right there to mark my doorway for me. There we go. Okay, yeah, so this is... Okay, I remember this place from way back in the day. Uh, okay, this should be the last unexplored room, and east view is the exit. Awesome, thanks, Adela, as usual. All right, let's see if there's anything important in here. Not seeing anything on these tables or these counters. Right, the table with like the, the dice things on them. Uh, da -da. Yeah, Thorn. Uh, that's kind of how I understand that that was the original idea, I think, was that Exanima was supposed to kind of be like a, a testing ground for all the tech and stuff but also supposed to be its own kind of standalone experience. And it's actually grown a lot um, since it was first out. Alright, there looks like there's a document here. Alright, I'm sitting in a tavern, something I've not done in a long time. Alas, it is quite empty and all the drink is spoiled long ago. These people could not have been so different from us, and yet some things are very strange. There are lamps and even fires that never burn out, and I do not understand the source of their power. These walls echo with the souls of the long dead, but beneath that, I sense something else, like a far-reaching presence. It's faint, but everywhere, and very strange. Could this be the mythical guardian? Or even Thaven's spellgiver? I don't know who the hell or what the hell the spellgiver is, but I probably don't want to find out. 
Uh, but yeah, aside from the armor, I know that supposedly there will be updates in the future dealing with ranged weapons. Okay, we've already been there. Uh, ranged weapons, and then supposedly magic as well. Both of which sound, well, pretty damn awesome to me. At least the ranged one, for sure. I'm, I don't know how I, honestly, how I feel about magic in this, but I, I'm sure it would be sweet one way or the other. Alright. So I need to go back this way now. Oh, come on. Don't get caught there. I know I could unequip the sword, but I'm so lazy. There we go. Alright. So I need to head east of here. Ultimately, whoops, ultimately to find the exit from this level. Okay. So we are now heading east. Yes, indeed. Awesome. All right. So, we managed to hit the third floor at last, which is very good. Um, looks like we're going to have to end the stream right here, though, for now. Uh, but here's the thing. I'm going to be back later tonight. I know it's probably irritating that I only stream for like one hour at a time, but it will get longer eventually once I kind of, well, get used to it. Um, but yeah, so tonight, uh, let me think of when it's probably going to be. It's going to be about 9.30 p.m. Central Time, so about eight and a half hours from now. I will be back, and we'll probably be playing Exanima again. I mean, I could possibly be playing something else, but it's highly unlikely. Um, so we'll be playing Exanima. Another thing that I'm trying to work on for later tonight is... Uh, now, I'm not positive about this, but I might be able to get some background removal going on you know, around me here, uh, so that you can get rid of the the obnoxious room behind me uh, and make things look a little more professional so that I can trick people into watching the stream thinking that I'm actually worth watching when we all know that I'm not, but don't tell anybody. Um, so that's what we're going to do. But yeah, in general, like I said, I'm really trying to transition now to Twitch because as you probably know, now I would, don't get me wrong, I was never making any money or, or having any kind of success on YouTube, but it's kind of depressing that there's like no future on YouTube anymore, especially not for small-time, amateurish, not entertaining people like myself. <laughs> so I'm going to try and stream a lot more. And, and uh, of course, after every stream, the VOD goes straight to the YouTube channel. And I'm still going to make YouTube videos, but I'm really... I can't... I have got to try. I've got to try really hard to make something out of this because I can't keep living this life I'm living. <laughs> I've got to do something different. <laughs> Being an adult sucks, and I've I've... I've got to find a way to, to make this happen. So I'm definitely going to be streaming more often. Um, but for right now, just doing like an hour at a time. So we did an hour right now. Tonight at 9.30, I'll do either an hour or an hour and a half, something like that. I hope you guys will join me. I'll, uh, I'll send an update out through Twitter. Um, and that's at uh, Odin Sucks, by the way, in case you're wondering. And uh, yeah, so again, 9.30 tonight. I hope you guys will be here. We'll play some more. And I, of course, I appreciate all of you being here and being in the chat. Please tell your friends. I know you're not like me, and you actually have friends. So please tell your friends about this. And I'll try my best not to scare them off, all right? Appreciate it. So everyone who's in the chat today, Adderla, Poco, uh, Thorn, Nexus, thanks so much for talking. Uh, I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys hopefully later on tonight, all right? So have fun, everybody.